Hello and welcome to another video. Great to see you here. I'm Roger and uh, behind the camera is uh, Go. Normally, or most of the times, we travel around with our motorhome. But right now, our motorhome is stuck uh, back home in Bergen with some major technical issues. So, today, being a Sunday, we thought you want to take you guys with us on one of our favorite Sunday drives here in uh, the western part of Norway. And since we don't have the motor on with us today, it gives us an opportunity to go on one of those smaller, perhaps more scenic roads here in the western part of Norway. And maybe we will catch it before the rain starts, because I can hear some thunder now in the background. But join us for this uh, little uh, adventure, because it's going to involve some beautiful scenery and some spectacular narrow roads. So here we are in Stonghalla, uh, just uh, northeast of Bergen. And the destination today is uh, Modal. It's a little village uh, just way far up into a fjord. Now the roads we are driving today, most of them you actually can't drive with the motor on. It's just uh, this part we are on now, as we've shown here on this map. This one you can't uh, drive with the motor on because it has both width and height and uh, weight regulations. The reason for the weight limitation is this old suspension bridge that crosses over Hallestrømmen. It used to have a maximum uh, load capacity of 3 ton per axle, but is now reduced to maximum payload per vehicle 3.5 ton. The reason being to expand the lifespan of the bridge. Now the route we have chosen today, Gosseran Osteris, is Norway's largest inland island and is surrounded by steep cliffs and beautiful fjords. The railway line you see here is the Vossabahn. It's the railway between Bergen and Voss, and incidentally is also a part of the Bergen line that goes from Bergen to Oslo. And this stretch here stood finished in 1883. Now of course they had done a lot of modification to the line since 1883, but some of the tunnels are still the one that dates back to 1883s which is, becomes quite obvious when you uh, have a closer look at them. And now we are starting on Fylkesvei 569. The closest translation to that will be County Road number 569. Now this road also has its limitations. The maximum height limitation is 3.4 meters, and your vehicle cannot be longer than 12.4 meters. And of course, there are these limitations that make this road so spectacular. The length limitation is, of course, down to the twistiness of the road, and the height limitation is uh, to the tunnels. And it's the tunnels that really sticks out on this road. Now they started construction on the road in 1920 and they stood finished in 1939. But this bridge you see here, Bullstaströmen Bridge, wasn't finished until 1963. Until that time, this little uh, Passalo Fjord was uh, operated by a small ferry. Now I was reading online about this road to get the facts right. I also stumble over the news that they are talk about preserving this road for the future, which is great news for uh, road enthusiasts like us. Now I was mentioning earlier that you can drive with your motor on there, but strictly speaking I would advise against taking a larger car on this road, especially on days when it's heavy traffic, because uh, there really isn't much room to pass anywhere on this road. Uh, some of the pathways are so narrow that it's not even room for a small car. Now this bridge we are driving on now is strictly speaking not part of the road, 
but it's definitely part of the road trip you take out there. It's a bridge that goes over the island of Osterhey, and it's absolutely worth a drive over it, uh, if not just to get this iconic picture of uh, the typical V-shaped fjord. And now we are coming up to my favorite part of the road. It's the road that stretches along Eidfjorden. It's this little fjord that goes into Eislana. And here the cliffs are pretty much vertical, but they still insisted on building a road there. That means they have to put the road into these crazy tunnels. And not forgetting this wonderful waterfall, Hersedalsfossen, which the road runs over, and it's quite a spectacular view. Now in here with the uh, Hashidal's waterfall, you can see they are starting to upgrade the road a bit. But I want to show you a bit of the old road, come with me. Now unfortunately, you are not allowed to drive this part of the old roads, but you can walk it. And if you do, I would recommend you to bring some, um, some lights. Now I remember driving this road as a kid. And I was looking out the window of the car. It was with great fascination that I saw this tunnel has a sort of a balcony area. Come on, I will show you. Now I have to admit, even though I have this fascination for these tunnels, I'm not 100% sure why they build them in this way. But if I were to guess, I guess they build it this way in order to get some natural light in the tunnel and some ventilation. But one thing is for sure, it makes for a really spectacular walk. But it, it reminds me more of a cave uh, exploration than it is for uh, walking on an old car road. Alright, so now we have come to Högerbergtunnel. Högerbergtunnel was the last part of the road that got finished and it would open in 1939. Now in 1939 this road was very sort of a state of the art, hard to believe today. But I come across this news article from 1939 in doing my research for this video and I like to read it but first I want to read it in Norwegian because it doesn't quite sound, sound the same in English. It's from the Norwegian paper uh, Aftenposten. That will be sort of a evening post. So reference Aftenposten 26. August 1939. Vägen till 116 kronor meter invies på Vastland idag. Med som sista färdiga punkt. Högerbergetunnel är alene på 685 meter plus 20 meter med halvtunnel. Den står då som landets längste vägtunnel och visst nog med det är Europas längste vägtunnel. And now to the English version folks. So reference the evening post 26th of August 1939. So the road to 160 km meters stood finished today on uh, the western part of Norway. Högerbergtunnel is alone on 685 meters, plus 20 meters of half tunnel. And with this is the longest tunnel in Norway, and apparently also the longest tunnel in Europe. Well, so there you have it folks, some fun facts inside of a dark tunnel in the western part of Norway. And to the end there, before we come to the opening, a little driving tip is that if you have to stop and reverse, remember that the reverse lights in most cars are absolute rubbish. Now that means if you have to stop for oncoming traffic and um, do um, the reverse for oncoming traffic, the visibility uh, backwards will be quite limited. Just a little tip there. And with that we have now come to the end of H1. And we are now approaching Eidslana. And 
It is this stretch of road between Dalsæda og Eslana, which is uh, suggested protected. From Eslana you follow the road up the valley. It becomes less spectacular here, but still a beautiful drive. Now Modal has been without road connection all the way up to 1976, but during that period in the 70s there was a big development in the hydropower plants in the area. And the decision was made to build this tunnel Modalsnal, which stands 3461 meters long. In order to get the big digging equipment up to the hydroelectrics construction sites. So here we are in beautiful Modal. It's a place we have visited many times before, both by sea and by land. Now if you come here with your boat, you can stay at the uh, Modal Gästebygge, which you see here. It has uh, electricity and uh, toilet and shower. And also fresh water is available. And just next to the harbor, just right in the heart of uh, Mo, you will find the uh, Mobrigal, as you see here. This is a combined guest house, restaurants and a conference center. And in the building you see in the middle here, you will find a grocery store. But of course we have to show you the campsite here in Modal. It's not uh, located far from the docks, uh, just a couple of meters up the road. Now at the time we were there, it looks like the whole site is under development. But still they have uh, all the usual suspects, fresh water, electricity, shower and toilet. And as I understand it, if you drive a little bit farther up the road, you can empty your greys and your blacks. Well, so there you have it, folks. A little drive from Bergen all the way in here to Modal. Hope you liked it. We sure liked uh, making this video. It's not every day you get to drive in such beautiful scenery and such lovely weather. Here you have the person behind the camera. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Uh, Houston, we have a new subscriber. <laughs>